What's up, YouTube? This is our first podcast ever together. I mean, we've done some stuff like tier lists before, but this is our first podcast of like Pokemon TCG. We've never, we've recently just gotten into this stuff, and uh, I think we're we're. It's safe to say we're addicted. So my name is Peter. Uh, I've gone by many names like King Charizard, King or Charizard, or even Char, and then this is my buddy Frank. He is a part of the podcast. He's the one who thought of the idea, and he also goes by Reckless Noob. I'll let him introduce himself. How's it going, y'all? Uh, I am Frank, as uh, King Charizard, a.k.a. Peter, was saying. Uh, this is something that we were actually talking about and wanting to do, and maybe get you guys going on some Pokemon battles, you know, like. We know we got the collector side, but we also want to get the uh, battle side of the Pokemon as well. Yeah, so we right now, we will be talking about uh, the new Lost Origins uh, box, which contains a lot of great Pokemon. What do you think about that, Peter? Yeah, I agree. This set is probably one of my favorites. My I fr I think we all started when Astro Radiance was. The thing, right? Yeah, Astro Radiance was uh was the thing, um, but we're talking about collecting. Collecting's been like since we were kids. Yeah, we collecting got, since we kids. Actually, we actually got back into it with uh, Astro Radiance. Uh, we actually went to a Pokey Fest or Pokey on convention. And yeah, said, you know, that's this battle ready deck that they has already here. We'll just buy that and see. Yeah, that's when it all started. Uh, once we all got our first pulls out of those ba battle build boxes or decks, um, we were hooked ever since and just never stopped. Yeah, Daddy Warbox was just buying. <laughs> they, 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 they call me Daddy Warbox because I, I threw down money on Astro Radiance. I'm not going to lie. He was going hard, man. I mean, he was, yeah, at least I think he, what, you brought out your your house bill, right? Like your whole no, <laughs> no. But I, 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 I yeah, but I did throw down cash for a lot. I think you even did, you even did pink slips as well. <laughs> uh, but I was able to pull my Palkias, my Palkia V's and V stars that I needed for my deck. Um, my main deck, I it contains a uh, Ice Rider Calyrex from the, of course the. Was it the new battle decks or battle ready decks? It's like a level three deck or something like that. And then I kind of just tweaked it with some Palkias and some other cards like Radiant Greninja. Just up upgraded it a bit. I also have like, what, three other decks? I have like the, uh, I really like Single Strike Urshifu over Rapid Strike, even though I know Rapid Strike is supposed to be the better deck. Um, I just enjoyed the uh, whole Single Strike with Umbreon, so... That's why I chose Single Strike. And also because Single Strike reminds me of Ryu from Street Fighter. And Street Fighter is one of my favorite games. Well, fighting games. So, And then I run the Shadow one, but it was just a meme to run it. I, I did that, honestly, to show my cousin and our other buddy Marcus how to run the deck. And I beat both of them with it. And... Now I am working on the, the Giratina one. I'm really enjoying the whole Lost Zone mechanic of Giratina. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's, that is that is absolutely true. Uh, he did make a meme deck uh, just so he could show it off against his cousin and uh, our delicate flower, Marcus. I mean, he really made that deck look trashy. Uh <laughs> But um, no, but it was it was a great thing. Uh, my deck, I have two decks. I'm running the darkness and a water deck. Um, a lot of it was not pre-made decks, but they were just uh, decks that I just threw together. And uh, actually, they uh, they've become they've become alive. Yeah, I think the only deck that I have right now that wasn't a deck that was already built and just up, I just upgraded it was this uh, the Giratina one. This one is pretty much based off all the cards I got from booster boxes and booster bundles and 
Uh, I think I bought two booster boxes. I got a pre-release booster box of Lost Origins. Got pretty some pretty cool pulls, and then I got another box from uh, this other card slash comic shop uh, called Kaboom Comics. Um, a shout out to though for the pre-release was this company called Olympus. It was called Olympus Comics, and they ended up getting bought out bought out by Comic Cave, which these are the new owners of this building that we were used to going to because we we go like frequently. Um, we were really cool with the old, the guys from Olympus. They were cool, like 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 we said, they put it on the hush hush to help us with the get Lost Origins early, like way earlier. Um, but now with these new guys from Comic Cave, we really like this new owner. Uh, Frank knows a little bit more about him, I believe, because he's actually spoken yeah. to him a little bit more. Oh yeah, so now we are in the com the Comic Cave era here in uh, Harlingen. Uh, little city in Texas. Um, now we're in the new era, which we are excited. Uh, shout out to Green. Um, you ever listens to this or something? We are hoping for big things. Um, a lot of the talks that he does talk about uh, bringing, re bringing uh, was it tier two uh, Pokemon tournaments into the comic cave, having tournaments done. Uh, gain some people to go into and maybe do regionals as well. Um, he's going to be going ahead and making a, a cafe at the comic shops, which is amazing because, you know, us us nerds, us dorks, and the, us <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, you know, fans would just go in there and just hang out, you know, and then all those comics and uh, Funkos he has, you know, it's, it's a place to enjoy. And we are really looking forward to, for the new era of Comic Cave here in Hollingen, Texas. Yeah, I really like yeah. the new place and the new Great. setup. He's really uh, upgraded to make it look really nice. Uh, it looks cleaner. I'm not going to lie. It does look cleaner. Um, more organized. Uh, but for sure, they're more known. Comic Cave is more known as uh, an official Digimon store. Because they actually have a big scene in a... Another little sit town or a city that's close by, like maybe what, 30 minutes away from us? Uh, yeah, 20, 30 minutes away. Yeah, they're like, supposed to be there's a big Digimon scene there. So what we're trying to do in Harlingen, which is what we're, we've are we been doing, is we're trying to grow the Pokemon scene for our area. Um, we heard there's another little scene, uh, a bigger scene of Pokemon in this other place called Donna, which is another 20, 30 minutes away. But we want to try to get a scene growing in Harlingen, Texas. So that's what we're trying to do there at Comic Cave. Yeah, I mean, what's better than just building a big community of Polka fans, you know? Talking about the new uh, the new card set, the new decks, what they're going to want to build. Even trying to get a big community just to do trades, you know? Just getting the card that you need is it's just it's flipping awesome. Like, it's just... I don't know. I... I yeah, Pokemon's just been a lot of fun. Just yeah, us getting back into it. Yeah, you 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 just feel like a kid again, you know. Um, especially now, uh, this whole Pokemon scene for us, uh, getting back into it, uh, the new card arts, uh, just even seeing what the trainer arts, uh, the new trainer arts. That's that's what blew our minds, you know that was new to us and that was never happened um from what i've seen yeah i think that's what caught, caught our eye was the the way the v's looked the full arts the trainer gallery like or i guess the trainer card or trainer trainer arts or whatever you want to call them but those those i think were the ones who caught my eye too but what really i think what caught my eye a lot was when we first got into asteroidians what caught my eye was pretty much the um yeah, pretty much the full arts. The 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 cards just looked really nice. They're beautiful cards now. The arts are really nice. Touche. Touche. Too bad we weren't a part of the whole EX GX era. I mean I was a little bit a part of the EX like back in the day, but old EX. Um 
not this new the new ex of like x and y it was like old old ex like you can scan ex <laughs> that type of card style ex and then of course there's gx which again we weren't a part of it part of it i know there's tag team those actually so so when me and frank actually see those cards we're like man these cards are cool i wish we were part of that era I mean, tag team, tag team, that art is just amazing. Uh, was it, there was a, the one I showed you, that Garchomp with, with uh, Giratina, dude, that one was just chef's kiss, dude. That shit was a fucking awesome. Yeah, that one's cool. Uh, the other tag team I liked was the Charizard Restroom. That one's another cool one to me. And then the Greninja and, who's Greninja with? I can't remember. Um, and but there's a, there's another tag team with uh, with Espeon and uh, what was it Di- Dioxys? Yeah, that one was cool. Yeah, that, that one was awesome. I, I like that one. That one was nice. So yeah, I, I'm sorry if this was a little bit longer of our of an intro. It's our first one again. Um, we are gonna try to get into this more and. Uh, like just keep doing stuff with this. It, it, it's a lot of fun, you know. And Frank here, he literally has all the topics that we're gonna talk about. Yeah, he, uh, he's he's the one who kind of thought of the idea, of course. Again, like it's his idea. We're doing it. It's fun. We're talking Pokemon and cards. So, what's the first topic you got for us, Frank? The first topic, of course, is gonna be talking about the Lost Origins box, you know. What Pokemon come out in Lost Origins and what Pokemon we're looking to hit and grab off this box? Um, Peter, what uh, what card actually like caught your eye? What was what was the card that like you know what? I need to build this deck ASAP. Originally, it wasn't Giratina. It was uh, the Kirims. Um for some reason, the Kirims just caught my eye, and I was like, ooh, because since I run Ice Riders, I'm like, ooh, it's Kirim, another, like, water type of deck to use, and just add them into the mix, and I don't know, I just thought they were going to be super cool to play, and I still think they're, I think they're going to be good cards, uh, especially with Palkia still around, because Palkia is really, like, the engine that helps these type of, like, cards work. Uh, what is it? It brings, like, three... Water energies from discard pile as a V star power and then attach it to these Pokemon in any way I like. So, yeah, Kiram. I, I, that, that was, this was the first card that really caught my eye, pretty much. What about you, Frank? The Kiram V Max. Now, that Kiram V Max looks amazing. I mean, I like the, I like the whole art of it. Uh, I like that it, it actually included the clouds above his dang head. Um, I honestly could see a lot of gameplay with this Kiram V and V Max um, with the ice with the Ice Riders. You could even throw in maybe a Suicune V, maybe two of those with that deck. And oh my god, I think I think it could do some damage. Yeah, I agree. I think I think Kiram is gonna be a. I think it's probably underlooked more than like Giratina and Zorak right now. Honestly, when I looked at this deck or I looked at this box, I really love, I mean, Giratina is my favorite legendary. Don't get me wrong. But I really love the way Magnezone V and the V-Star, like that really popped out to me, Um, especially because not a lot of people run electric decks, you know, from what I've heard. Uh, And it's it's really caught my eye. just Magna Magna Zone V, it doing the was it the switch to one opponent bench? You switch one of the opponent's bench monsters or Pokemon, and it does forty to them. So it's yeah. basically like a boss's order and an attack. You know, so it's just like wh- what? You're throwing yeah. people off a loop right there, and you and then you got your V Star, and let's go ahead and pull that up. V Star. Magnezone V-Star? 
Same with that V-Star. That's, oh my god, that one is, I just like the art in general for the V-Star. Um, how can I say it? Give me one second. Yeah, I I agree with Frank though. Uh, whatever whatever he's pulling up right now to check out. Uh, I agree with the Magnezone V Star. I thought this was a, one of the cool Pokemon because even in Gen Four, I mean, who didn't like Magnezone when it came out? Uh, so when it came out as a card and the V Star, I was like, man, this is gonna be pretty cool because it's another electric deck, I guess, pretty much to use against uh, I guess like Palkias and those kind of decks, those water decks. Yeah, and like if you really do see it on that magnet grip hitting for 180. So every time you hit someone, you can search your deck for two items and then reveal them and then shuffle your hand. Like, come on, that's two items. You can get an ultra ball, quick ball, you know, you get evolutions. Like anything that's going to be helping you out with those two item cards, you'll be able to grab. And that's not even the V star power. The V star power, you're going to hit 90 damage to two people that's on the opponent's bench. You can, if, if they have basic Pokemon, if they don't have any Vs and it's basic or a two-stage, you're killing them. You're going to grab two prize cards, and you're already, what, four to six? Yeah, that's like, true. The only like, yeah, the, the only counter to this is just the Manaphy, but I don't think a lot of people will run Manaphy so much. I mean, some might, but I doubt it because who's going to expect Magnezone V-Star to come out? And no one's going to expect it. No one's going to expect it. Unless you are my buddy Peter and you play that damn card. Yeah, if we play each other, we'll probably expect it and then we'll we'll counter we'll counter each other. <laughs> we'll end up doing that. It's it's just a it's a great card. Uh, anything that can make you search for for ener or for uh, energy support cards, item cards, and as an attack, that's a great card. I I really I really like it. The uh, that one was what caught my eye in Lost Origin. All right, and now I'm gonna go down the line of all the uh, other V's and V stars that we have in this set. Uh, starting off with the man himself, Aerodactyl, which has a really cool alternate art, which I wish I pulled, but I could not pull it. Yeah, we got Aerodactyl V, we got one of the pinnacle fossil Pokemon that we start off with in Pokemon red and blue um aerodactyl honestly i i like the art i mean it has a jungle you can see the volcano in the back yeah that sand he's flying over you know all around it's a great looking card um the move isn't that bad either like the rock what yeah, is it rock crush bad. rock crush every time you attack you just the the active pokemon has to discard his one energy so that's basically stopping them from even doing anything if they only have one energy card on there but i mean either way it stops them from attacking or doing any of their ability powers true and um we i would have put up the uh, the alternate art but none of us even pulled it out of, out of our group none of us pulled it um yeah, but, but it, is nice looking. Don't get it, it, it is very nice looking it's one of my for sure it's it's up there because I just like the whole. I love dinosaurs. Ran up as a kid, and the whole prehistoric theme of that card looks. I I would just love to have it. I ain't paying for it. I'll pull for it. <laughs> I'll pay the pool. Yeah, we'll get a pull for that. But I mean, um, it's, still, it's still an amazing card. It's in a great. It's a great alternate card. Uh, I just like how Aerodactyl was just like flying over all the Pokemon uh, in a Jurassic type format you know yeah it's super cool card um and then we have aerodactyl v star i ended up pulling this on my pre-release booster box uh i was pretty stoked about pulling it and then i read the card and i was like uh, uh it's all right <laughs> it's not it's not okay don't get me wrong it's not bad no. but it's not great uh what does the v star do again until until this Pokemon leaves play, it gains an ability that has the effect. Has the effect of your Pokemon's V in play. 
except any Aerodactyl V Stars has no ability. So basically, it takes my opponent's V Pokemon ability, right? Yeah, it will take. Yeah, it says play it again against the ability that has an effect of your opponent's Pokemon V. Ah, uh, so it's basically just taking someone's ability. Yeah, I guess like the Calyrex or. What yeah, else? Calyrex, uh, Palkia, you know, it, it, anyone that, like I said, or like it says, anyone's ability for yeah. the v ones for the, the V. I mean, it hits pretty hard too, don't get me wrong. I mean, that's 240, you throw a choice spend on it, that's uh, yeah, 270. You can... If you're in a Leon in the same turn, that's 300 damage right there. And an additional, you have to uh, put three of the top of your cards into the Lost Zone. So, I mean, that's great. I mean, with if this... You're, if you're playing, like, a Cramorant or you're playing with a Giratina deck, like, it, 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 it's nice to have. But will you see some gameplay of it? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. The only thing it counters pretty much is the Arceus, because it can one-shot Arceus, but... Even the V-card can one-shot Arceus. Um... All right, we'll go on to the next card. The next V Pokemon that we have here on the list is the, my most hated card in the whole freaking set. Oh man, dude, that's that's the card that you will sell your house for. That's that's your favorite Pokemon, Delphox. I don't care how much you beg and plead that you having Delphox of five Delphoxes shows me how much you really love this Pokemon. Yeah. For you, for, for y'all that don't know, I hate this Pokemon. It's like my lowest, one of my least favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, okay. Lowest, one of the lowest, like least favorite Pokemon ever. One of my, or it's for sure the bottom of the list of starters. Uh, the bottom of the list for fire types. I just don't. I mean, it, the typing isn't bad. It's just there's something about the design I. I just don't like it. I, I don't like it at all. I just hate this Pokemon. And I pulled this card five times. Four times this one. And one time the alternate art. Or the full art. But that's all I have to say about Delphox V. Do you have anything else to add about it? Well, honestly, look. Your opinion don't matter. Because right now I know you having five Delphoxes is your favorite damn card. Okay? I don't care what you say. That is your favorite card. We can have we have uh, numerous Poke fans and Pokemon uh, masters that can say that is your favorite Pokemon. We got Drapion V. Um, this is one of the coolest Gen Four Pokemon ever, and they made the V Star trash. Which we'll get yeah. to in a bit. Um, Drapion V. I I enjoy the card art. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it's a bad card. Um, yeah, I think is, the V is way better than the V Star, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that, that's for sure. But the V can really actually help uh, whenever it comes down to uh, to the Mew deck. The Mew, the Mew deck is, is coming out. Or that coming out, but that is in the regional league and is actually making waves, you know? Yeah, that one's uh, in, like, NA tournaments. and. I think just this in general, it ability is wild style. For every uh, single strike, rapid strike, and fusion strike Pokemon in play, it has one less uh, basic energy. So if, if that bench... Or your bench? Oh no, it's actually your opponent. If your opponent's bench has like what, three, four single strike or whatever type of strikes. Yeah, and if it's a Mew deck, there I think it's mainly nothing but fusion strike. Yeah. So you're gonna that's, be able to hit for free a, and double damage. That's a free one ninety, and then also. If you're hitting Mew, that's that's going double. Yeah, and what what's also and uh, I don't think Peter knows. What's going to be good with the Drapion V, what's going to be combined is going to be the Hasudian Zor. 
The only reason is because you also do 60 damage to one of your Pokemon. It doesn't have to be the Zorark. Could be another one that's there. But a Suyin Zorark would benefit from this Drapion V. Yeah, that's true. I could see it. It could help also with the uh, counter against Mew as well. Yeah, it would help with the counter. would help with the, uh, the damage counters that you need. So, I mean... All around. Bad card. Good card. <laughs> good, cool Pokemon. Bad card. Yeah, it's a 50 50, you know. You, you get what you get, you get what you can't see, you know, but it, it's just, I don't know. It, it's. And so now I, I wouldn't even bring up the V Star. It's yeah. like Masuda. It's yeah. It's <laughs> Trash Masuda. The, <laughs> it loses pretty much damage. For, for damage on it already. Um, I mean, maybe you could do something, but probably not. And then also the whole, um, the hazard star. I mean, that V-Par is kind of whack. If you think about V-Max is like the Galarian Slow King. He puts 12 damage counters. This one, he puts three damage counters. Like, why is the why is the old school G-Max or V-Max doing more than a, a new V-Star? I don't, I don't know. That's uh, kind of sad, you know. Yeah, that's three, three, three damage counters. I mean, it would have been nice if it was maybe eight or maybe ten. But three. Yeah, that's uh, and, you know, um, it's a little whack. Can, honestly, honestly, I I can see Big Bang Arm, uh, and having the two fifty and the negative sign next to it. Uh, this attack does 10 uh, less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Um, the only thing about that is for sure you would need to, you would need to have, uh, what's that, what's that, uh, that trainer card in Lost Origins? Uh, draining Oh, pump. damage pump. Damage pump. You can use damage pump and take off some of the damage that's there on your Drapion V Star. Onto another Pokemon, yeah. That yeah, I could yeah. see that then. That that it's, wouldn't be too bad. Your Hisudian Zorark. But why would you want to have that and the V Star, you know? And it, it just it kind of just throws it off kind of. You know what I mean? Like you you're gonna have two different V Stars into one. Yeah, you're gonna have to do pretty much more work to make this card work than any other card so so that's why it's kind of bad yeah it's kind of basura um next card is uh our buddy seth the new marcus uh y'all don't know the joke inside joke but yeah he's a new marcus he's a new marcus um an amorous v this guy thought it stops status effects but it doesn't stop status effects it stops effects of your pokemon pokemon's abilities like uh done to your pokemon energies which isn't bad uh but I don't think there's many Pokemon that really are going to do much to you with their abilities like that. They kind of just help gain, help you out instead nowadays. I, I mean, the only one that this one would stop is from my Umbreon, my Umbreon VMAX, where it's kind of like a boss's order. When I evolve my Umbreon V into the VMAX, it'll switch. I can choose, I can switch a Pokemon out in. So like with this thing out, I can't do it. But other than that, I don't see any other meta decks out there that it's going to stop. Yeah, no, it's it's a great looking card. You know, I'm, I, I will say that. Um, I agree. Sure it, is, it is new to me. Uh, I'm pretty uh, sure it might, it might be in Arceus. Yeah, this is the new genie from Legends of Arceus. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I haven't gone through the whole thing yet, but the to this, this is new to me. Um, I do kind of like the concept. Um, but all around, I mean, the card, the card does not give me any wow factor, you know? Same. Uh, it's, I mean, it's cool. Uh, that's all I can say about it. It's just cool to me. I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's, it's, it's in between. The only, the only thing that I think I would like from it is his attack, um, which you can attach two basic energies 
from your discard pile to the any bench Pokemon any way you like. Yeah, it could help like generate a few uh, yeah. energy cards. Yeah, and that's the only thing that's good. Sucks that's a hundred, and it's a three cost. <laughs> yeah, the three cost kind of hurts me. Yeah, if it was a three cost and hitting for like one forty, okay. But one hundred, nah. You crazy. <laughs> Uh, on to the next one, which is which Frank actually really likes this card is the Galarian Berserker. See, right here in Pokemon battles or the Pokemon TCG world, drawing cards is everything, and just this card alone. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up as well. <clears throat> this card you could just put one energy on it and you could draw three cards three cards can you say that's a free and if you just throw it on a berry you just drew six cards in one goddamn turn six and that's not even including his his next move which is treasure hunt for every card in your hand you you do 20 more damage so if you have 10 cards in your hand, that's 200 damage. Yeah. It's it's goddamn basic fucking card. It's uh it's it's probably it's pretty much the new hand card pretty much. If you want to do a, a, a hand deck like that. Yeah, it's a great card. Um I actually have a surprise <laughs> later on with this and another card we're going to talk about pretty soon, but Oh, I love this card. Uh, I never liked the Pokemon, but I love this card. <laughs> you don't like the Pokemon? I, I don't. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a big Meowth fan. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I actually liked this one. I thought it was cool. To, in my opinion, I just thought it was a cool Pokemon. I really liked a lot of Galar Pokemon. Um, yeah, the, I, I didn't think, I think any of them the were bad. I, didn't like. I, 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 just, I think this one's the only one I didn't like. I was like, man, why did you just put Meowth in a beard? Like, really? That's all you did? <laughs> maybe horns, maybe? Uh, and then the, the next one is the uh, poster boy of the whole box, the Giratina V. Um, this card is... I, I'm i starting to run it. I'm just trying to learn it pretty much right now. I know I need to add some stuff, a few things, take out a few things, and make it go. But I'm really... I mean, Frank saw me in action with it yesterday. I just thought it was a lot of fun to play. It is a great looking card. I love Giratina. That's my favorite legendary. I will say it again and I'll say it twice. Same for the people in the back. It's my favorite legendary. Um, Abyss Seeker. Looking at the top four of your deck. Put two of them into your hand and the other two into your lost zone. That Which... is very beneficial. That is very beneficial for Giratina V Star. Even the Cramorant, even the lost zone Pokemon that are in this set. Exactly. And, like, I, I don't know. I enjoyed playing this card so much. Um, well, the deck yesterday, it was so much fun. Frank, let me borrow one of his V Stars because I, I only had one. And I was trying to run a 2-2 of Giratina, Giratina V-Star. Which, it looks like I might be able to run a 3-3 now, because I ordered one online. And, uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a little bit. But, um, yeah, just, when I played this V-Star, I, I felt like I was in control. Even though it seemed like, I played my cousin yesterday, and it's, he probably felt like, man, I'm in control. I have this in the bag. But, yeah, yeah, I have Star Requiem. Requiem. Right, once I have ten cards in the Lost Zone, I KO anything I want. And he's playing a V Max, so that's three prizes for free right there. And I pretty much win after that because he busts out a V, Lost Impact. That's two eighty. Pretty much KOs anything in the format. Uh, that's not a V uh, a V Max. Uh, that I don't have much more to say about this card, but it's actually pretty good. I like it a lot. It's fun. Yeah, that is a awesome card. Uh, V Star is amazing. 
Uh, I do love that it could just KO whatever the hell you bring out. It's dying. Yeah, it's going to die. <laughs> whatever you set up to kill me is dead. Like, oh, my God. Uh, so the the thing I was saying about, <laughs> I was saying we're going to talk about a little bit later was this. Today, actually, I bought a booster bundle. I was like, you know what? It's the last one in the comic cave. Um, it didn't get picked up yesterday. I was like, ah, whatever. I'll just buy it. Yeah, you said it's a Tuesday. What yeah. Do? yeah. It was Tuesday. Uh, Frank and Seth were playing a match. I went to buy it. I pulled out the VMAX yeah, first, right? The Karen VMAX. Uh, yeah, I pulled yeah. that out. And then on my very last pack, I pulled this thing. And I'm like, oh my god i just bought another v star online so now, now i'm gonna have three i guess so i'm gonna end up running three three um i don't care to sell this card so i'm actually probably gonna play it, it looks really pretty i know i get it don't play it. Ooh, no, but i don't know i just like it it's cool it looks really nice so i don't know why i wouldn't play it um it's a very nice looking card it's one of the uh, coolest gold ones i in my opinion yeah, it, it, it really is. Uh, the creator or whoever made that card. They did a great job. job. Yeah. You did good. Speaking, you did good. Of an, yeah. speaking of another cool card, my cousin, uh, he's part of our group too. He got lucky in his booster box, and he ended up pulling this bad boy. Yeah, um, that, is, that is a nice card. That is such a nice card, and... It's kind of weird because me and uh, Frank here were looking at the price value. It was it's kind of bouncing everywhere, but it looks like it's starting to settle up in the 240, 250 range. It, it went down yeah. to like 210 one day. I think it was at yeah, 190 at one point, right? Yeah, it's bouncing around like Seth and Marcus double chin, man. That's just <laughs> every different time. Like we don't know what's going on, what price is gonna be. Like it's just going everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's bouncing up and down, but I feel like it's looking like um they're settling for around the 240, 250 range. I don't I don't see it going any higher than that. If it does, man, I'll be surprised. But I know a lot of the other Lost Origin cards are kind of dipping down in price at this point. Besides this yeah. and the uh, that's, that's, that's just a beautiful card. Yeah, uh, it's it's it, so it, pretty. It's such a beautiful card. It's very beautiful. It should be framed if you have it. It should be framed. It should be put in a pod. Yeah, I'm. Ground, yeah, I, I'm glad Aaron didn't decide. Hey, I'm just gonna throw it in my boot, my binder. Like, no, dude, you put that in the hard case and protect that thing. It's beautiful. Yeah, you, you protect it like it's a child. Oh. You protect it. I'm gonna tell him like you have to protect it like that Trojan protect you last night. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this, but like, like we we're saying, this card is—he got lucky, all right. He, it, this is such a beautiful card. I, I wish I pulled it, but I didn't pull it. But you, Frank, probably wish he pulled it because this is his favorite book, his favorite legendary. Look, it's just—I love, I love it, dude. It's such like a. That? Oh my god, dude! If I would have pulled it, bro, I would, I would, I would have been in the restroom the next ten minutes. <laughs> With the card, you, you would have. Yeah, it's another inside joke. Your cards would have been sticky like sets. Mm -hmm. uh, another card that I, I guess I pulled. It's not. I don't think it belongs in the set. It's just an alt, a full art, I guess, for the set. I pulled this thing right here. It's the electrode V. Um, it's a cool full art, I guess. I like the whole blue aspect in the background. Um, I don't see it being really used so much because why the heck am I going to discard all energy from this Pokemon for only 120? I want to say that's the meme card of the deck or of the box. Yeah. Because honestly, that's the only card in the box. There's no V. That's only the four. There's yeah. no other V. It came from somewhere else, that's for sure. <laughs> that's what I'm like, huh? With me now. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's not much to say about Electro V, but here we go. The next card I know Frank um, is still thinking about is the Gudra V here, the Gudra deck. See, look, this Gudra V, which I'm telling you is gonna go with my goddamn, that's gonna go with my Galarian, Parasite, whatever the hell is goddamn name, Berserker, Aberdurker, or whatever it is. <laughs> 
I'm gonna play with this who's shooting B and V Star. Like, uh, I just love the art in general. Like, you can actually see like the water and the water drippings all over the art. This um, the Hisuian form is actually really cool. When you see it in game, I don't think uh, Frank's gotten that far into it, but when he when he finally gets the time to play this game, I think he'll enjoy seeing all these like new Pokemon of Hisui. Um, they're super nice, Frank. Like I swear to God, the game is fun to play. Just going out, looking at these Pokemon, catching them, and it's kind of challenging. It's not even that easy <laughs> sometimes. Where do you mean? But yeah, like. Even this card is super sick. I mean, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attack. So it hits for 140. You can throw a choice man, hit for 170 uh, oh, if it's another V. So, And it'll take 30 yeah. less, and it's a tank, pretty much. Yeah, and even, even, even the, the little slip and trip. 60 damage? And, and your opponent switches? Yeah. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of your bench of uh, one of their bench Pokemon. So yeah. you just they have to if they're stacking uh, energies on that one active Pokemon and you hit it, they have to switch. That that Pokemon that they're built up. What what happened? Your Basuda, you're gone. <laughs> you're the bench. Basuda, that's gonna be Frank's new catchphrase. <laughs> you ain't there. Um. The next boy is the big boss boy. Oh, big softy Mac boss boy. It's cause oh. This is going to be an annoying card, in my opinion. Oh, my God. That's what we call Big Daddy right there. That's called... That's even... That's Peter's daddy. That's <laughs> <Daddy>. <laughs> Rolling... <laughs> yeah, I should have probably started... I should have played this deck. Uh, oh, God, dude. I'm going to enjoy playing this deck. Rolling oh. Iron. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 80 less damage from the attack... Um, from attacks... And it hits for 200. Uh, that's pretty much going to two-shot everything. Because this thing ain't going to get two-shotted by anything. Uh, just because yeah. of that one ability. Um, and then it's Moisture Star. Dude, During your star, turn. This is the P-Star power, dude. Yeah, you heal yourself. So you're. that's what I'm saying. You ain't two-hitting. You're not two-shotting uh, two this Pokemon at all. The only one who's going to take this thing out by one hit is just the uh, Giratina. But I can only do that one time. Yeah, you better you you better wait. <coughs> yeah, you got, I gotta use that at the right time. If I'm running two Hisuian and Gudras, V stars. Yeah, he, he needs to really think about what he's gonna do with that guy with like with that ability. Yeah, you got, I gotta wait because if, if I go against it this, is, it is really good. Uh, it is really good, uh, especially uh, I could take I could take one of his hits. Um, and especially doing 200 and then taking 80 less. Yeah, and it, and then know. healing yourself next turn. Like, because you're able to heal and then you hit attack again. Yep. Yep. So it's just like, what the heck are you going to do? The hardest Giratina and hits is 280. And then with the minus 80, I'm only hitting 200. So you have 70 HP left. You're going to heal back to 270. You're going to hit me again. I'm dead. It's, 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 I think. And, and, what, and what's going to be crazier too, because you're going to be playing that, was it the... The shield guard, you could do shield guard. That steel, that steel basic card that is like a shield. That would be another annoying card. Also, there's yeah, a, and there's that, and that, that's twenty less damage. So he's doing a hundred less damage already. There's also a, a a stadium card that heals steel types for thirty HP every turn. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 it's gonna be a very nice just to see this card in action. Oh, this makes me want to play this card now. This card is so cool. Yeah, and I'm I just can't wait to play it. Um, once I get one more of my uh, Berserker, all right. Once I have, I have one more Berserker, I'm, it it's going down in the DMs. Yeah, it's going down. I think this one for sure. Besides the Giratina, like uh, I think it's one of the coolest cards in the set. I I just love the Dragon type a lot. So just just seeing it, it's it's so cool. Um, to the next V Pokemon. We got, great. we got the Hisuian Zorark. This is my favorite Hisui Pokemon. Um, I think this art is super cool. I love the colors on Hisuian uh, Zorark. I love Zorark. Uh, I get to see a lot of the Hisuian, but I do know the regular 
very the one I do like very much. Uh, this card is it's very nice looking. I mean, it has the it has the dark concept, the little it being in the night and the moons in the back. Uh, it kind of gives me like a Nine Tails vibe with that little uh, with those little red orbs around or those orbs around it. Yeah, those are the little wisps because it's a normal ghost type. Yeah, and it's. I really do enjoy this card, uh, even though I'm 50-50 on it sometimes. I'm just like, oh, but this card sucks, but oh, but this card can do something. Oh, yeah. At, you know? it's just like, yeah, at the beginning, uh, Frank didn't like Hussein Zerg. He thought, no, this card's going to suck. I mean, I, I didn't see much of it either, but then once you see what's in the set, you see there's a lot of support for it, and it's like, okay, it, it could do something. Yeah, I feel like this set was a, was based on Zork for sure. Uh, Zork and Giratina, yeah, man, I, damn. I, yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's cool. It's a cool set. But what's gonna be crazy is I think I'm, we're gonna see a lot more Urshifu's come around in uh, this next uh, regionals coming up because um, it's it's gonna be a fighting. It's weak against fighting, and there's gonna be a lot of basic stuff. Uh, yeah, Urshifu could make a comeback. Um, or Urshifu comeback during the uh, worlds. Uh, yeah, yeah it, was I, rapid, it was a rapid strike. Urshifu. Yeah, I saw that one. That one was cool. Uh, um, I know in this regional in Baltimore, we won't get to see Lost Origin yet because I think it has to be two weeks after the release date. You can it's eligible. I can't remember. I can't remember, but. I know we won't see uh, Lost Origin yet, but it, man, it would have been so cool to see it already. I want to see it. I want to see the Lost Zone mechanics. I want to see Zorark. I just want to see how these decks would fare against the big bosses right now. Of yeah, like, what is it? Mew V Max? Yeah, I just think that Soran Zorark V Star is kind of busted. Just the power, just the V Star power itself. That's a free Pokemon. Re that's a professor research on a on his Phantom Star. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can just draw seven cards by discarding your hand. If you have one card in your hand, discard it. You get seven new ones. Oh no! Yeah, I actually think the the V Star is actually um, not bad with this Pokemon. It's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, it's it's, it's not bad. And then Tickling uh, Curse. You got the Gengar support. You got the Damage Pump support. You got what did uh, you say? Damage pump. Tickling, tickling me. Tick. Oh, I said tickling, ticking curse. <laughs> Ticky curse, ticky curse. You tickling who? <laughs> um, no, but it, this thing could potentially hit for like two fifty right off the back, especially with the ban. Hit it for two eighty or even a Leon two eighty. It's it's a it'll be up there for sure. I don't think it'll be top three, but I for sure think it's still gonna be like Arceus with. Cause so far, so far the number one deck that won worlds, and that won the NAIC is um, Arceus with Flying Pikachu. I think V Max. But we'll see. We'll see if these things can do some damage. Maybe Giratina. Who knows? Uh, Aaron actually pulled this one, which now that I look at it a little bit more, because at first I was like, you know what, I don't really like it, but it's not bad. It's not ugly. It's okay. It's not, it's not too bad. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of Rainbow Arts. That's, I guess it's just my thing. I'm not... It, it depends. On, it depends. <laughs> it, yeah, it does depend. I guess it's because it takes away from the colors of what Hysterian Zorak is and what I already liked about it. I think yeah. the whole rainbow takes it away from me. I just think Zorak, like the, the hair, like the tips, they didn't change anything about it. I already had pink tips. <laughs> yeah. You know? it, like everything is white on top of its hair. Like, okay, can you rainbow that? Can you do something to that? And uh, the only reason why I pulled this card out is because our my cousin uh, he actually pulled this also in his box, which he's lucky. I hate him. <laughs> hate him. Hate him with the passion. I'm pretty sure they're all stickers. Yeah, they're all stickers. Let's peel them. Next one. Next one. Next one. Aaron, if you're watching this, we're peeling it off when we see you the next time. <laughs> All right, the next one is Pidgeot V. Ooh. 
What do you have to say about Pidgeot V? We, me and Frank actually spoke about this Pokemon a little bit. We're like, you know what? This could work with some things. Not everything, but it could work. You could do something with it. So Pidgeot V. Uh, Pidgeot V to me, I feel like can work with uh, Elder Goss V. Uh, it can work with certain Pokemons that actually have to go back into your deck. Or actually have to come out your hand uh, to use its ability. I think it's a, a very cheeky card and actually can do a lot of things. Uh, it just depends on the play style you play with Pidgeot Um I do like, like I said, I do like the concept of what they're going with. And I do like how uh, you can actually benefit from reshuffling the cards back into your deck. And hopefully pulling it back out again and using the ability again. Because who wouldn't want to get a support card from your discard pile for free into your hand again? It's, it's just, like I said, it's it's just, it's mind-blowing what Pidgeot V can do and potentially do. Uh, well, now that I reread it, it's once per turn, this Pokemon is on your bench. You may shuffle it and all attached cards to it so just the energies mm, yeah so okay now i'm thinking it's kind of bad i'm sorry for <laughs> now i'm looking at it i'm like this card is probably bad <laughs> wait which one is the one that i said uh, i know you're thinking bad. of another card though yeah there is i can't yeah, we were talking about it because we were talking we, about pgv and we're talking about that one yeah i think yeah yeah i remember we we're talking about another card because now i'm looking at this one i'm like all right this guy's probably not that not the one we were thinking about uh, the last V that we'll talk about. But either way, with the Pidgeot V, it does free up space on your bench. Yeah, it could do that at least. I know, at least it could, you know, when you have five Pokemon, you can't put no more Pokemon on the bench. So at least you could free up space with this, with this, uh, ability. And it'll help you out from, from not decking out. Facts. So say you have some, <laughs> some abilities in there, or you have some energies on it. Maybe maybe it could work with V Union uh Mewtwo because you know how just keep putting it back in the deck. <laughs> you never deck yeah. out. Yeah, that's true. Um yeah. the last one we have here is Rodon V. I ended up pulling this card. Um I think someone tried to make a deck that I saw on YouTube. Uh I can't remember who the name was. I didn't watch most of it. But it says once during your turn you may draw three cards. If you use ability, your turn ends, which I don't think is a bad card because Eh, do what you need to do, set up, and then draw three cards if you don't have anything. And then you have Scrap sh scrap Short. Put any number of Pokemon tool cards from your discard pile into the Lost Zone. This attack does 40 more damage for each card you put into the Lost Zone in this way. Uh, uh, I don't really like it. It's just my opinion. Was it Rotom V? Yeah, Rotom V. Uh, Rotom V, honestly. I like the art. I like the art. Yeah, I like the art. Um, I just think they could have done more for its ability. Uh, I think if the turn didn't it end, it would be broken. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, that kind of that kind of sucks. But because everyone. Yeah. Everyone will be running be this as a support. support. Yeah, I was say, but it can be useful. So say you are running a Galarian uh, Berserker, mm -hmm. and you throw a Berry, and you, you know what? I'm going to draw nine cards this turn, and I'm going to end it. Oh, true. Oh, true. Yeah, uh, there's not much more of me to say about this card. I mean, it's it probably has its niche of like a, set, a certain deck maybe, but for me, I probably won't see. I won't be playing it. I I'll just keep it in my my binder. It's a cool card. Yeah, it's a cool card to have. Uh, the alternate is very nice. I will say that. Uh, I don't know if you can pull that one up, but the alternate Rotom is a very alternate nice. art Rotom. Yeah. I didn't even see that one yet. I think I haven't uh, seen it. Yeah, no, that one's really nice. The now. four? Uh, alternate four, yeah. It's going for like 56 bucks right now, but it's 
There's an alternate full art. Yeah, man, you should see it, dude. It's nice. It's very nice. Uh, right is that with the is it with the green background? No, no. It's uh, has a. Uh, it's like it's in the attic and has a lot of junk everywhere. Oh, and it, and, wait a minute. And it, has, it has the lawnmower, the the pump, the washer, the fan, like everything it could turn into in that one art, dude. So it's just like, dang, that looks nice, bro. I need to find this. Yeah, you need to look at it, man. Like it's it's very nice. Uh, let's see if maybe Peter could bring it up for y'all. But it is a really good looking, like me. Okay. What happened, man? I need to you know. Right? I need to know who lied to you. Shut up. Yeah, no, it, it's a very, I mean, especially if you're like a roll tom player, you, you've you've collected a lot of the roll toms, you can see everything in this art, and it's just like, yeah, you can turn into that, you can turn into that vacuum, you can turn into that fan, you can turn into that ray gun, you can turn into that, like it's, <laughs> it's like, I see how what they did, and they ain't fooling me. Yeah, they ain't fooling you. They fooled you, not me. All right, you're right. Have you seen it yet? Not yet. Let me see. Here, I pulled up the website right now. Oh, I found it. I don't know how big this card is going to come out, though. If I pull it up, we'll see. <laughs> big like you? Okay. Hopefully, it's not gigantic. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, man. Uh, let's see. He's going to pop up like crazy and blow up the whole screen. Oh, oh I didn't. Please. All right. There it is. That looks really like, cool. Look, like, look at that, dude. Yeah, there's that's a beautiful the, card. There's the, vacuum, there's the fan. There's the lawnmower. There's the washer. Yeah, that's a beautiful card right there. I like that's that card. Let's see if you already know what it, like, it turns into. It's a very nice card. They did really good on that one. Yeah, that, 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 Veronica, no, yeah, that card is really yeah. cool. If you don't watch Happy, yeah. <laughs> you don't watch Adam Sandler movies, you're not going to understand. That Rotom V looking very nice. Yeah, this card is super sick. You said uh, Ray pulled it? Ray pulled it, man, and he was talking to me about it. I was like, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a cool card. Yeah, Ray is a guy from GameStop. Shout out to Ray also. Maybe he might watch this. He's a pretty much calm the Pokemon guy at GameStop. He he uh, is the store leader there and he like orders all this Pokemon stuff and he uh he's pretty cool. He hooks up the hooks up the deals, you know? Not like price wise, but he'll hook us up like he'll hold stuff off for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll uh, he's that friendly neighborhood Pokemon guy, you know? He's 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 a really good guy to talk to. Yeah, he's cool. And he's just a collector. He doesn't play. Yeah, um, just a collector. For us, just the Frank wanted to add the Radiance in here. We can talk about the Radiance here. We got Radiant Gardevoir to start. Yeah, Radiant Gardevoir. I mean, that's just a nice, shiny-looking card. Like, who doesn't like shiny Radiant or shiny Gardevoir? It's yeah. It's a nice card. Uh, it does 20 less damage, or it takes 20 less damage from V. Any of the Pokemon that are on, if this card's on your bench. Yeah, that could work with, uh, also, there you go, Galarian freaking, um, Gudra. It could work with, uh, Sudian, uh, Zor like Zor, so he's going to take too much damage, you know? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a good card. Yeah. It, it, it could work with certain decks, for sure. Especially that one. Um, but then you have... Galarian Sneasler, which also is another cool Pokemon, I think, in Ooh. Hisui. Uh, Frank loves this card. <laughs> Frank did say he runs a dark deck, right? But it's more like a poison dark deck. It, it, it smacks cheeks. Um, it is. I just like. I like. I like all. I've, I've always liked Sneasler. Um, and Weavile. Uh, when they came up with this one. I was kind of I was kind of hesitant to it, but it grew on me. Yeah, same um, with me. It grew on me, especially the shiny. Uh, the shiny looks cool. 
Yeah, Shiny looks nice. The claws reminds me of Street Fighter, that dude with the long... <laughs> <laughs> Vega. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of him. Uh, well, other than that, like, it's a great card. I mean, yeah, the great. ability to put two extra damage counters on Pokemon that are poison, so it's just like... Yeah, it's a great looking know. card. Ow. Um, another Radiant. I have about six of these. <laughs> Chicken I, nugget Steelix. Chicken nugget. Um, I put three of these, right? I, I, I put six of these, um, which I don't mind. It's fine. I was hoping to get one at least radiant freaking oh, Gardevoir. Chicken nugget Steelix looks like, I mean, it, it's a freaking awesome. It's an awesome card. It's, it's an awesome Pokemon. Dude. Yeah, it's awesome. It's oh, beautiful. Wow. The, the shiny is beautiful. I mean, the card isn't the best, but it's beautiful. The card, the card isn't best. I can tell you this right now. If you're trying to kill someone that has like 300 health, you can use this card. Yeah. Because honestly, it's going to discard your whole damn deck. Yeah. <laughs> this is for a final hit. This is your final hit. This is what you want to use it for. You hit someone for 1,000. But hey, you hit him for 1,000? It better be that. It better be a V or a V max. Cause God damn, you're gonna, gonna lose. Out the next turn. You better hope you have a pigeon. <laughs> uh huh. He's gonna say, "Yeah, you bought McDonald's today, so let's go ahead and get it going with this golden chicken nugget Steelix." All right, some other cards we wanted to highlight. Um, first one is Clefairy. I think when I first saw this card, I was like, "Wow, there's some fun things you could do with Clefairy." And what I think I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, what I'm thinking of doing now, I'm adding to the Shadow Rider deck. I, I want to. I, I thought of it already, and like when I first saw this card, I thought Shadow Rider, and I was like, cool, I could do something cool. Then my cousin said he played it on online or whatever on Pokemon TCG online, and um, he was like, oh, I was thinking of doing it, but nah, I was already thinking it when I saw this card. I'm making that. I mean, he can do it all he wants, but I already know my deck building skills are better than him. To say he's gonna do it because he's gonna do it. I mean, he's a collector, not a bad one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm down. I even told him like, I'm down to mirror match. We'll see who builds it better. I already yeah, built. I already built the Shadow Rider better. <laughs> yeah, the, the Clefairy is it, it's very nice. Um, I like the picture. The picture, the art of it, it's very nice. They did really good. Uh, sucks that Clefable kind of sucks, and is uh, Vasuda. <laughs> very, very trash but this card is actually really cool but that card is really good to have yeah this is a cool card right here it's, uh so if you're running a psychic deck staple would be clefairy yeah i'm about to run four of these in my deck hey calm down, calm down. <laughs> um then another one to note is cramorant for this whole lost zone whole mechanic thing it it'll hit you for 110 for free pretty much can two shot almost a lot of the uh the v's and some of the V stars, but also like he can he he can hit hard, yeah, especially throw a band on it. It's like a what one forty? You'll hit be hitting for two eighty on the second. Well, pretty much, be uh yeah. yeah. So it's two eighty in two turns. You'll hitting, yeah, you'll be hitting a one forty, especially if you have the Arcununo, adding another ten. Yeah, that's one fifty. One fifty to the face. Yeah, Kramer, yeah. Kramer, Kramer, Kramer's another one where. He, um, like we we're watching someone, uh, he ran a zero energy deck <laughs> and it's just Kramer popping people, popping people in the face. Yeah. I think Kramer is really, is going to be pretty good, especially for the lost zone. Um, and then one more notable card that we wanted to look at was I, the Gengar. I like the, I like the art of the Kramer too. Dude. Yeah. So do I. Kramer has grown, man. It's, it's growing on people, you know? Yeah. Just like a tumor. <laughs> And then we have Gengar, who's the uh, support for sure, 100% support of the um, Hesudian Zor arc. So Hesudian Zor, it can help. Uh, it, it is a, I want to say a staple card for it, for Hesudian Zor. Um, just the ability Netherworld Gate. Once per turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench and if you do you can put three damage counters on this pokemon 
Yep, use damage pumps, split them up to your throughout your bench, and there you go. Sets up your Hisui and Zorark right away. Um, last thing we're gonna do with this set to talk about is uh, I wanted to talk about our favorite trainer gallery cards from this set. Um, yeah. We can go, I guess, one by one, I guess. So I'll do mine, and or you can do yours, and and then I can do one of mine. Um, so we'll pop up whatever the first one is up here. This is one of Frank's top three. So, oh my God! So chandelier. I mean chandelier. <laughs> yeah, here you go. It's the only way to say the name. It's the only way to say the name. Is a very awesome like look at that damn art like it is very awesome uh i really love this pokemon um the art the concept of it is very awesome uh it, like this card alone just makes me want to just main a fire deck like it's amazing i love the art it being in the library um i mean i don't, I don't know what else i can say like yeah, I agree. I uh, actually pulled this today in a one booster pack, I think. Um, yeah, very, very jealous. So, uh, it's it's super, it's super pretty. It's a pretty card for sure. All right, the card I was chasing for trainer art. My number one was this one. I really love this card because, of course, it's Charizard. You can see Charizard under my damn name, um, and it's Leon. Leon is one of my favorite trainers in. All of the games, pretty much. It, he's grown on me. Like, I think he's such a cool, uh, cool character, cool trainer, and he has a Charizard. Who has a freaking Charizard? I, I just he love like this card. <laughs> freaking sharks with laser beams on their head. Austin oh, Powers yeah. reference, but yeah, it's it's. I I just love this card so much. When I pulled it in my pre-release booster box, I was, I didn't care what a, any, I didn't care about anything else that I pulled. I'm not even gonna lie. When I saw this, I felt like I won already. I was like, this is it. <laughs> I'm yeah, complete. Yeah. yeah, when I saw Peter pull that that uh, that card, man, I was happy for him. I mean, like I said, or like he said, man, King Charizard, he's Charizard. He loves Charizard. That's that's a staple card for him. <laughs> yeah, he's and a little baby box, boy. Box. Look at him. <laughs> man, any box, like that's just amazing. Just that in general. Uh, next one that we have here is the Gengar. Frank's, one of Frank's, Frank's top favorite Pokemon right here, too. Oh, yeah. Back to the Gengar, man. Like, oh, my God. I love that. I love that art. I pulled it. I was so happy. Uh, I ended up pulling that one and the, uh, secret gold rare Pikachu, fat Pikachu VMAX. Uh, and I was just, I was more happier with this Gengar pull than that gold one. Um, Damn it! I just like I just like the whole trainer art, man. Like, like look at that. it's with the it's with the misfortune sisters, Gengar. <laughs> this looks like they're doing dinner, camping, laundry. Like it, it's everywhere, man. It's awesome. It, it, yeah, it is an awesome card. Gengar is like my favorite ghost type. I uh, probably because I'm a Gen One er. I don't care, but I'm not even a Gen One er. My favorite games are Gen Five, but Gengar, it, in my opinion, is just one of the coolest ghost types. But now it's kind of getting rivaled against with Hisui and Zora because that ghost type is really freaking cool too. But uh, it's always it's just hard. But for sure this this card is super cool. I'm, I'm also in love with it. Um, another one was this one. I ended up pulling this bad boy. Is the Pikachu with red V card with the uh with well, the trainer gallery card. Um, another one is uh. Pikachu mascot and of course red is like one of my favorite trainers also out of a uh, Pokemon out of the, all the characters pretty much it's he's one of my favorites and having his staple Pokemon right in front of him is I thought it was pretty dope I like the picture like it's just a beautiful card to me yeah that is a awesome card uh, I do love the whole background the whole scenery of it um, yeah I mean it's a great card and then Frank ended up, this is the other one he had here, it was the Orbital. It, it looks like Orbital is kind of growing onto Frank. I'm not going to even lie. Like, it feels like that. I don't know if I'm right, but. That, yeah, that, that or just the art, man. 
man. Like, Orbital being a UFO in everything. Is it safe to say that Orbital is becoming one of your favorite uh, Psychic, Gal- Galar Pokemon? <laughs> Psychic. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, man. Like, I mean, he was always, he was one, always one of uh, my favorites in, uh, was a sword, sword and shield. Yeah. Like, we're doing when the, v, the fucking Dynamaxing, always trying to look for that Orbital. I remember we were doing that, those raids all the time for it. Um, and I told you, and I was like, dang, man, they haven't made, they haven't made a good bug type in forever. Yeah. And I remember you saying that. Card came out, or this Pokemon came out. I was like, man, this Pokemon hit. Uh, but just this, this art in general, like it gives me Wizard of Oz type vibes with <laughs> Mill Tank flying in the, in the bottom with the Pokeball. It introduces a Pokeball as well. Um, it's just a it's just a fun art. I, I just think that in general that art is fun. All right, and then the let me see, I'm gonna pull up the other one here. Okay. I originally not gonna lie, I had a certain Pokemon. That I thought was the cool one of the coolest for me, but I had to. I'm not gonna lie. I okay. One of them. The other one that I had was the red with Ash V Max, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't beat this other one for me at all. I don't know why. This one. When I pulled this, I like. I fell in love with it, and I still do love it. It's the Gallade one with the. Uh, I guess it's like a ninja trainer right behind him. I think it's from. Honestly, I want to say it's Wally, but ninja. I wonder if it's from Hisui, because he Galade is in Hisui in the Legends of Arceus, and there is a ninja type character in there. So I, I, it, I'm, it, it, it probably is him, dude. Honestly, maybe it's like a Wally relative. Who knows? Yeah. Um. But yeah, when I pulled this card, I was like, "Wow, this card is my favorite. One of my favorite cards now that I pulled because like it just looks super cool, especially at the." In person and hollow, it, it, it looks really cool to me. I just think it's a cool looking card, and uh, Galley looks pretty dope in this picture with the ninja right behind his back. Yeah, ready to get into battle. Uh, that was all for the lost origin se- section of our the podcast. Uh, I don't know if I'm sure Frank has other yeah no, topics you wanted lost- to bring up. Yeah, I mean a lot. All those cards for Lost Origins, they are fantastic. If you guys, if you guys ever get a chance, uh, look up the list. Uh, look up the trainer arts that we didn't call out, and maybe you guys would like it. Um, yeah, let us know which which one yeah, is your know. favorite Pokemon in the set. Yeah, let's know in the comments or anything, like, what's your favorite? Yeah, even uh, the trainer gallery. Like, What's your top three trainer gallery cards in there? Yeah, you can tell us that. We don't mind that. I mean, we won't guarantee uh, Peter won't say anything about it, but I mean, <laughs> oh my God. as long as it's not a, if, as long as your favorite Pokemon isn't Delphox in that set, I won't oh, delete dude, your Delphox. message. Nah. <laughs> I want to do this Delphox, man. Like, you you have a friend in Peter and Delphox as well. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, so the next topic we're gonna talk about is. That Arceus V Star premium package that's coming out. Uh, I believe it's only for GameStop, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a GameStop exclusive. Yeah, I said it. Exclusive. Uh, it is right now running for, or not right now, but it's gonna be running for nine ninety nine. Uh, Whoa, that is crazy. But, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Peter. I'm trying to see. Uh, he said it's on GameStop. GameStop. It's gonna be a GameStop website, um, and it's gonna be an exclusive premium collection. Um, I mean, I, I have it here. I'll send it to you right now. Uh, um, on that the. Uh, 1141, that's going to be the next topic, Peter, for the 1141 time. Uh, oh, is this this one right here, the Arceus V-Star Ultra Premium Collection. collection. Wow, okay. 
Yeah. So it's a. Let me pop. Let me pop this. It's a mouth gagger. It's a mouth gagger. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, it it makes your mouth full. Like. uh, Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's a whole screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 (laughs) Take it easy there, GameStop, would not it? My eyes, my eyes, my eyes. There it is, the Arcus V Star Ultra Premium Collection, and he's right about the price. God dang, nine ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's ninety nine ninety nine, man. It's coming out on December sixteenth. Um, what's going to be included in here? Um, I don't know if you want to bring up the other pictures or the uh, pictures yeah. That's in the back. It shows the back of the thing. Uh, it's going to come with a play mat. Oh, it's a playmat. Is it the black uh, black playmat? No, 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 no. It's the uh, Ar- Arceus playmat. It's a uh, like Arceus in space. Like it, it's actually it looks nice. Oh, okay. There it is. That is actually pretty sick. Yeah, it comes with a playmat and fifteen booster. Oh yeah, 15 man! Booster packs. Uh, and it comes with metal dice, damage, damaging metal dice, a metal coin. Those packs it's are actually pretty metal, cool. Metal cards. These cards won't be able to be used. You can't use them. There's the metal but, dice. But they're metal. The play mat, though. That play mat's nice. Is it $100 nice? No. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to be paid $100 for that. <laughs> oh, my God. You get a coin. Nice. What else do you wrong. get in here? You said the, they, they give you metal cards? It's not they the actual... Give the, they give you the metal RCSV and the RCSV star metal. Um, so what? Not not playable? Like, <laughs> they're not playable. I mean, you want to smack someone in the... You want to try putting that card on a on a desk? You can hear that funk. Um, so we got like the... Said, it's, it's a nice package. It, I mean, it is. I mean, there's the coin right there. I mean, you probably can't see it so well. It's a little silver coin. Who cares about coins now? Everyone rolls the dice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else came in here? Rolling dice over there like I'm that damn Monopoly and shit. I guess the playmat didn't show for me, but I could just always pop this one up here. I'll show the playmat right there. And playmat's right there. Um, and then, of course, you get your V and your V star. Uh, metal. That's gonna be metal. Yeah, that's pretty much everything right there. And fifteen booster packs. I mean, it's not a whopping thirty six. You know, thirty six booster packs. But I mean, it's fifteen. Um, all around. I mean, hundred dollars in December. It might be a good Christmas gift. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's pretty cool. What is, what is- Ast Radiance, Brilliant Stars, some Lost Origins. You get yeah. four Lost Origins, you get three Vivid Voltage, you get four Astro, and you get four Brilliant. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I mean, if it actually gave you a playable Arcus V and V Star, maybe I would get it, but. Well, honestly, if it gave you a V and a V Star, and then it also gave you those two metal ones, it then, would be nice. Then I'd be yeah, say, would... then I'd say, okay, it's worth a hundred bucks, but. Yeah, it would be, it would be considerable. Yeah, but well, the metal, the metal dice, dice kind of just look like they just threw it in there. Like, yeah, just like you know, let's just give them something else. I, I, yeah, I, I feel like that the metal dice could have been better. I agree. It's uh, like yeah, it, it could have been better. The only thing that's an eye catcher is the play mat. That's the only thing. Do I want to pay a hundred dollars for a play mat? No, I don't. Yeah, I I agree. It's. No, no, no. Yep, Resbusha. No, no, no. Uh, but yeah, that is gonna be the RCS V Star Ultimate Premium Collection. Um. So what do you what do you think, Peter? Gonna be under your Christmas tree? Uh. Uh. Well, I mean, we'll have to see because I'm not too sure about it yet. You're not that hype. I'm not too hyped. There, there is, there is one thing I am hyped about. One thing I am hyped about. Mm-hmm. 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 Now let's uh, see if I'll pull that bad boy out right now. What, what 
which we're going to go into our next topic. Uh, yeah. Our next topic is going to be my buddy's favorite. Uh, yeah, this this is where I I'm actually excited about this this one right here that I already felt he was going to talk about it, but I didn't know if he yeah. was going to bring it up. But I, I just had a feeling, and I was like, he's going to bring it up. He's, so it's going to be the Charizard. Promo V, V Max, and V Star collection. Um, oh my god, just this set alone, man. Like, dude, all three look sick. It's freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, I, I, it's gonna hurt my wallet. <laughs> I just like the concept drawings that the, the drawing they did on the V, the V Star. The V Star has it just has action everywhere going off in there. Like, I can see, I can see Tang. What is that Tango? That goddamn Tango Lore, whatever that dang thing is. Is that a Mewtwo right there in the V Star? Look at that! It's fighting Mewtwo. Yeah, that's, that's he's fighting Mewtwo. That but that's there's Tango, there's Tango in the back that evolved for him. Tangro. Uh, next to him, you know, like dude, like there's a lot of things going off in there. It's just a awesome card. It's an awesome card. Yeah, this is literally. I'm not. If I okay, look, I look might the get this. I'm not. Charizard. Look at the Charizard. Look at the Charizard's neck on V Star. You can see the vein. Like they put detail, comic strip type. It's just, it's very nice. Look, look at the Diglett right there in the bottom left next to the. There's, there's so much detailing, so look much how stuff. Is that Diglett is? Yeah, it is so cool. It's such a cool card, man. Like the V Star is amazing. Even the Charizard V is like. Um, Dude, look, look, amazing. look, it's like, yeah, you see Venusaur, and I'm thinking this is like the aftermath of the battle that happened in Brilliant Stars. You know how it was the Charizard battling Venusaur? And, and that's what a lot of people were saying. It's like, like a, it's like Venusaur storytelling. You know, and it's, it's awesome. I like it. I like it. The cartoon concept to it. It's you so know, cool. It's, it's like a fresh draw. Yeah, it's yeah. so yeah. sick. Charizard V Max reminds me of uh, King Ghidorah when he's like coming out in the ring. Yeah, the V Max. I was about to get to that. He, he, Charizard V Max looking like Godzilla out here. <laughs> he looking like a kaiju. Yeah, it's nice. Like, oh my god, they did really good. That's a different art style. It's more like a realistic sort of sort of art style to me, yeah. and it looks super cool. Yes, and it's it's a it's a great. These are great promo cards, honestly. Pokemon, you guys, you guys did out, you outdid yourself. Um, this is going to be available October twenty eighth. October twenty yes. eighth, one hundred and twenty dollars. Oh my you know, like god! One hundred and nineteen ninety nine. Ah! come with the the Dynamax Charizard Play Mat, which is you see that V Max right there. It's going to come with that, and it's going to come with a metal. The sleeves, uh, man. It's going to come with 55 Charizard sleeves. Or 65. And then two metal condition markers. And then you're going to get the uh, V-Star marker. 16 and, boosters. Uh, yes, you get 16 boosters. These sword and shield boosters. Um, Honestly. Maybe, okay. This one is probably worth. Yeah, honestly, the 119 is not bad. This, no. this is worth the 119. Yeah, I actually want to say yeah, I agree with that one because this one is worth the 119. You're getting 16 booster packs. You're getting those three cards, even though those three cards will probably even go up in value. And you're getting a play mat. Play mat's usually what 20, 30 bucks. And you're getting the sleeves. Sleeves are usually 12 bucks, 15 bucks. So I mean, it's a really awesome buy for 120 bucks. Um, yeah, I for Daddy, Warbucks, for Daddy Warbucks, that's chump change when it comes to Charizard. Chump change. Honestly, I, I don't know if I'm. I, 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 I wanted to stop, you know, I wanted to stop, but this is Charizard, man. Like, it's my favorite, and I, I would love to just have those cards in my binder just, just to look at them. They're there, like, yeah, probably not even in my binder. Probably gonna put them in the little, um, what are they called? The hard cases. The hard cases. Just keep them safe. And, man, they're so... Oh, I want them so bad. They're so pretty. Dude, they are nice looking, man. Um, I'm not going to say... 
no, and I'm not gonna say. I'm, you know me. I'm, I'm gonna say hell yeah. You, you go get that damn card. I'm gonna go yeah. get these damn cards. These are, yeah, these are my. Usually bitch. when I say it happens, bitch. When I told you a lot, no, you should wait next week. What happened? It went down to tw- it went to nineteen bucks, and you spent five bucks more. Mm-hmm. Like, like, dude, this is something that you need to go out and get. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be a nice set. Uh, again, V Star Charizard. It's everywhere. It's amazing. The sparks are flying on Charizard. Oh, they're spark. They're flying right now for me. Sparks are flying. Yeah. Well, um, like the little sparks on Charizard. Look, you you know when you put rock on fire. Oh yeah. Rock rock, it does like a little spark. Oh, I know, but I, I'm just saying, I'm in love. Yeah, yeah you're falling in love, bitch. You need to calm down. <laughs> you, need, you need to calm down. A lot of excitement going on on this side of the room. Yeah, it's, it's getting intimate over there. It's getting hot. Yeah, it's a little hot in here. <laughs> But yeah, no, and then that V, man, that V, you can see, you can see him both, or Venusaur sleeping his ass off, and it looked like Charger's almost about to fall asleep. <laughs> it looks like they're both taking a break from that battle. <laughs> but it's nice, man. I, I really, I really enjoy it. I like the whole V Max Kaiju looking thing too. That shit's that. I'm sorry, my bad. That thing is dope. Sorry, I had to cuss a little bit there, but it, it's because it's, it's how much I love this Pokemon and this these cards are sick. Honestly, it's coming off. It's it's coming off that uh, V Max Charizard that was very expensive, man. Uh, yeah. Shiny, shiny Fates. I think it was Shiny Fates. I'm wondering, is there any way to like reserve this already? Because that's what I need to find. <laughs> I don't know, man, but. I haven't seen anywhere to reserve. You're gonna to have to do it on Pokemon TCG. I mean, it's it's gonna be on Pokemon on the Pokemon website. You could do it there. Uh, oh, Pokemon Center. It, yeah, Pokemon Center. You could do it there. Oh my God, dude, this is a good. This is these are gonna be cards that you can show off and hopefully keep for your kids, bro. Like this is a nice set, man. I I, I really do enjoy looking at them. I I do. They're it's nice. yeah, they're freaking awesome, dude. Like. Holy crap! Yeah, you you get these, I'd be a little jealous. I will I will party fucking punt one of them. Punt one of them? Oh, dude! Hey, they're gonna be the hard case. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be the hard case, bitch. That's what I meant. I'll party punt one of them. How excited I am for you! I'll soccer kick that shit. Damn. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, it it looks very good. You know what the trees on on Charizard V it reminds me of? What? Like you see, uh, in the back over there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it reminds me of Mario. Like this little, like the. It reminds me of the Mario trees on this one and the V Star. Like it reminds me of Mar, like the Mario uh, concept, dude. Like it's 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 very nice. It's, it's refreshing, dude. Uh, I, like I wanted to pop up one more little news of. I don't know if Frank was gonna bring this up or not. Mm-hmm. This right here. It was just late new late the latest news that came out. I think it was today. Uh, yesterday, yesterday. The fossil watches day. Those look sick, man. That Gengar though looks sick. Uh, look nice. Man. Even the starter, even the starter ones. I'm not gonna lie, the starter ones are cool, but yeah, the Gengar. Like, if, if anything, I probably get that big ass starter one over in the left. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, that one's colored up and shit. And shit. Uh, <laughs> it's hard it's hard might as well just say because i mean i said shoot uh, but yeah man i like it dude gengar dude i love the gengar one uh 300 dollars worth of love no no but i mean it's nice yeah i'll it, tell you that yeah it, it's nice it's yeah 350 dollars worth nah, looking, it's mean. looking a little hot you know it's looking a little hot yeah but like you that you making me have to go work on side. Like you making me have to go to the do what Marcus and Seth are doing right now. <laughs> yeah, that so that was just a little bit of news. I know it wasn't like something go Pokemon T C G related, but it's Pokemon related and I think that's what we like here is like we're we just love Pokemon, man. Like just Pokemon brings people together, community, it's fun. So that's what we're yeah. trying to do with Pokemon right now. So we're trying to get a community going and it's growing slowly, little short. Uh, it's growing a little bit here and there, so it's it's getting there. Yeah, of course, and also we're gonna have uh, we'll have our Discord in the bottom of the uh, the video or in the uh, in the bio description area. Yeah, in the bio there, 
and uh, go ahead and join. Even show us your polls. Like, we are very happy for you guys, and we actually talk to you guys about them. Like, man, we we enjoy it. We enjoy seeing it. We enjoy seeing what's going on. Um, I don't know. I mean, it it, it, it makes us happy. It's yeah. Happy to see what you're yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, we did know that I mean, we're, I know we we're talking about Lost Origins, but we didn't know that Silver Tempest is coming out in November. That Silver Tempest will be coming out in November. We will not talk about it. Yeah, not just yet. We'll wait till it sets yeah, out. But we do know hitters that I want. I want Ho'o and Lugia. That's for sure. That's all I'll say. Yeah, I, 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 it looks amazing. That's, I'm, I'm going to say that for our next podcast or whenever, when, whenever we get, get that to that one. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, oh my god, nostalgia. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, it's gonna bring nostalgia back. It's gonna be. It, it's what me. It's what Peter and I grew up to. This is probably that's probably the set that'll turn Frank into a Daddy War box. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting the that whole over Lugia. Hey man, I don't know, man. It's expensive. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, save up uh, money I, again. It's gonna be a great talk for our uh, next 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 podcast because we still it's still far away it's still a long ways um but no we're we're really enjoying it uh we just hopefully you guys enjoy and join us like join us on our uh in our discords even you, you never know we might even pop in and say hey you want to join us for our podcast today be our special guest like it, it's just something we're trying to have for the community we're trying to have uh build together yeah we're just trying um, to grow it it's it, it's a lot of fun we're trying to do a bromance but also like i want to say girl bromance as well <laughs> girl bro like girl girl man i don't you know, know. I, mean, I, I mean i don't know man like, you never know we'll probably have girls <laughs> that get into this into this discord we never know we might have guys we might have Kids, like it's just we want to build a community and we want to have you guys involved. Yeah, and so far the Discord has a few people here, and like it it started off small, but now it's starting to grow a little bit more, and we're getting more people post pulls, talk about their cards, talk about hey, let's go out here, let's go play today. Like it's 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 getting there. We're getting there short slowly but surely. Yeah, and we and we love and we would love to talk to you guys about your pulls or telling telling us what you got today, like. Or got during the week, you know, we would like to bring you onto our podcast and even bring in and just talking about it. Um, it's gonna be fun for us, fun for you. Uh, you get to hear our sexy voice, we get to hear yours. It's yeah, just, just, calm down. Yeah, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. Anything, and then anything else, like it, it's it's gonna be great. Um, yeah, it'll be lots of fun. Um, but if you all want to hear any other things, like any other topics or whatever, like. We're more than well, more than happy to do those too. I mean, maybe we might do it like another podcast of like a tier list of certain Pokemon or another podcast of like anything else. If any anything y'all would like us to talk about, I mean, we're down because we like a lot of different things anyways. It's not only Pokemon that we enjoy, but for sure Pokemon is like our big thing, 100%. Right now, it's like the thing for us. Like we love it so far. It's It's pretty much, we're making new friends with it. It's pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's not wrong. Um, I'm not sure if Frank had any other topics or ready to wrap it up. Um, honestly, at this moment, I I do not. Only thing is, Lost Origins is making waves. Um, yeah, with the new Pokemon they added and uh, the Lost Origins is making waves on decks right now. Yeah, uh, it is actually making. Uh, other people rethink their decks. Yeah, I'm really excited uh, to see when Lost Origin hits regional stuff. Yes. Um, also, big shout out. Uh, big shout out to uh, Comic Cave in Harlingen. Uh, we really enjoy uh, playing there every time we go. Uh, their workers, their owner, uh, Mr. Green. Um, Brian, Anthony, the people we know there, Angel, like they're really great. They're really great people. If you guys are looking for comics, you guys are looking for pops, 
Yes, they even grade awesome. cards. They'll send your cards out to they even, Yeah, they even grade cards, man. They'll grade cards and bring them to you. Yeah, they'll, back they'll back. ship them out. They'll get graded yeah. by an official, like, one of the... I forgot which one it was, but it's one of the official ones. And then they bring it back and... Yeah, it's... it's they're they're awesome. They're amazing, man. And then they have everything that you need. Uh, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And if you uh, need it... Card. You playing that? You playing that game? They have it. You need you know, it? They'll order it. Yeah, if you even need it, just go by and like, hey, can I go ahead and get this set? And they'll look for it and they'll get it for you, just for you. Yeah, and they'll hold it away, uh, put it away, put your name on it. They're 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 great. I like yeah, these I new owners. Like, yeah, we we love it. Uh, so thanks thanks, Mr. Green. Thanks, Bill, for uh, allowing us to play there. We enjoy. Uh, the comics we enjoy the uh, games that we can play and the environment uh, yeah the environment's amazing um just giving us free drinks is amazing too when we're playing uh so if you like that please come by and play with us or even just read or just clown around with it now we're just usually there just clowning around the whole time yeah we're having um, fun playing pokemon and just messing messing around yeah just don't be afraid to come out uh if you are from the valley, uh, you know we, we would uh, we would really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm Reckless Noob, and uh, I'm King is, Charizard. Uh, yep, yeah, and uh, we are tearing this podcast.